When we talk about Google's approach to software on tablet devices, or I guess you could say foldable devices, it has long been pointed out that they are missing some of the bigger features that I think people kind of want them to have up and running, things like floating windows, things like app pairs are finally here on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I uh, should be rolling out to older uh, Pixel devices very, very soon. But one thing that never really gets talked about a whole lot that I have actually wanted for quite a while is a specific improvement to the taskbar. As you can see here on this screen capture of my OnePlus Open at the bottom, not only do you have the apps that I have pinned down there, the ones that I use most frequently, Chrome, Google Messages, Photos, and my camera app, but to the right of that, you have three more applications, and those are my recently opened applications. If I were to open up Wise and then go back home, you can see now that Wise has populated down there, and this is really, really useful when you're you know, very quickly moving back and forth between different applications. Here on my Pixel 9 Pro Fold, if I go into an application and I do a little swipe up to show my taskbar, you can see that yes, I have an app drawer with a search bar and that's very useful, but I do not have the recently opened applications. The closest thing that I have is that far right icon. I leave it empty and it shows a recommended app. It's not necessarily the most recent app. Sometimes it is. It's trying to basically predict what you might need and show that icon there. But instead, it looks like we may be getting something much more akin to what we have on the OnePlus Open very, very soon with Android 15 QPR1. In case you weren't aware, the Pixel 9 series of devices, we expected it to launch with Android 15. That didn't happen. It's still running Android 14. Android 15 should be rolling out sometime at the end of this month of October 2024. And then QPR1 should be in a couple of months, maybe uh, later than that. Let's take a look at this news article, Android Authority. The Android taskbar could soon be upgraded to show recent apps. Google may upgrade the taskbar in Android 15 QPR1 to display the two most recently used applications. And if we scroll down, we actually do have a demo of this being enabled. I believe this was, yes, of course, this was Michelle Ramon, and they were able to, with some digging into the QPR1 beta 2, found some code, and they were able to sort of enable this thing, and this is the video that they have embedded so you can see there is your normal taskbar they're going to open up an application and now you can see down here at the bottom that the calculator app is there as they're going through different applications it is populating the taskbar with a couple of different icons it would make it easier for you to jump back and forth between those recently opened apps I also want to remind you that something that is actually in this Android 15 QPR1 that I talked about in a prior video for the Pixel tablet and other tablet devices, theoretically, once it goes stable, is this changed desktop mode. This is something kind of similar to the quote unquote new Samsung DeX experience. I'll show you, I think we have a video here showing exactly how this works. So you're in an application, there's a little handle up at the top, you can tap and drag down and it switches you to this desktop mode. You can see this being played here, drag down, now you're in desktop mode. So the taskbar gets pinned down there to the bottom, you get floating windows that can be resized. It is a desktop mode. Now, like I mentioned, this is on the Pixel tablet. If we scroll all the way down, you can try it out on the Pixel tablet before it's released to AOSP more broadly. Now, we don't know how this is going to go. Will it be released to other devices? Will this just be a Pixel tablet thing? Might we get extraordinarily lucky and this be a thing that runs on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold in the same way? Or might we get maybe just as lucky and have it be a thing that when we plug our Pixel 9 Pro Fold or our Pixel 9 series of devices into an external display, that we get some sort of interface similar to that? That would be very, very cool and it would be an absolute game changer for this release. Now, as far as I can tell, looking back, QPR1 for Android 14, the stable version, looks like it came out in December. I posted a video on December the 6th of 2023 talking about it. So it is possible that we get this sometime around the same time. Android 15 should already be out, but something happened and it kind of pushed things back. AOSP has been released, so other OEMs can be working with it, but Google's not rolled it out to Pixel devices. Samsung isn't apparently going to roll it out to their devices until 
early 2025. So things are getting a little bit disjointed. But again, I think that it's possible that we still see QPR1 relatively soon because it's already in the betas. It's already out there being worked on. So maybe 15 hits and then QPR1 hits really shortly after that. And if it does, man, that's a lot of uh, potentially really cool new features coming. So guys, just a short news story that I wanted to pass along. I will drop a link to the article in the description down below so you can go check that out and see it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.